Hello guys, welcome to American Truck Simulator. We are, oh, I gotta look over here. We are taking a mixed tank from Flagstaff to Kingman today. So let's go ahead and get our GPS set up and ready to roll. I am driving my, oh crap, never mind. I gotta go find a rest place and then I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, we have gotten a rest now. I am pretty sure that job is not available now, so we will hop into the job market and see what we got for us coming out of Flagstaff. Uh, so my strategy right now is I've been trucking here in New Mexico for a while, getting as many towns unlocked as I can. So I'm going to work my way up into Nevada here, and then I haven't even met Oregon or Washington yet, so i got to get up there. I don't have Idaho, Utah, or Colorado yet. They're DLCs that are out. And Wyoming is getting ready to release, I believe. So, let's see. There's still that one. It's still got time left. Uh, where's this one go? Whoa. How's that even count as Flagstaff? That would be a drive. All right. We'll take this one still. So, um, I believe it's still in the GPS. But uh, uh, We're taking my Kenworth W900. I've uh, been slowly kitting this truck out. Looks pretty good so far. And, uh, yeah. This one doesn't have a bull bar, sadly. I really wanted a bull bar on my truck, but don't have one. So, yeah, day cab still. I got 200-gallon fuel tanks on it, so I can go a little while. I still like to top up fuel every two runs or so. Uh, my tires are all good. I believe they were 8% used when I checked it last, and that was a couple loads ago. So we should be set to take off here without any delay. The pickup point is right down the road here. So we will head out. Yep, we're good there. Vroom. Heading straight through this stop sign. Kind of scary. I have the realistic traffic mod running and the realistic graphics mod, so they make the gameplay a lot better. And sorry about the lag. I think my RAM's maxing out. I only have 8 gigabytes of RAM. I'm not sure if this game is RAM intensive or not, but I find that in Minecraft. I get a lag spike every once in a while from hardware. Now, I believe we are pulling in right here at Bidumin. Is that how that's spelled or pronounced? I don't know, and I realized I left my headlights on. So let's go ahead and accept this job. Yep, they got some backhoes going up to Page as well. That would be a good run. Kind of bottlenecking you. I'm sure there's some jobs in Utah. Once I get the Utah DLC, that'll take me up there. All right, so time to hook up to this trailer. I am uh, level 13, if you didn't check when we were on that page. I have two other truckers working for me. They each drive the Mac Anthem. Just cheapest trucks I could get my hands on at the moment. I have a 396... 375, actually, I think, $1,000 loan that we are in the process of paying off, me and the boys. Hopefully we can get that done quick. So that we can borrow some more money to get some more drivers in. Because two ain't paying the bills right now. Alright. I'm driving a automatic right now because I do not have a shifter. I want to get one soon. And I want to get the uh, simu shift, is it called? To where it's the actual Eaton Fuller handle. Make it a lot more realistic. So we're going to head out. I have a 435 horsepower Cummings in this truck and a 18-speed Eaton Fuller, and it's got the auto shift, which is annoying at times. You don't get what you really want out of it. And I don't have head tracking yet either, so bear with me with these things. See, that traffic light's not for this intersection. Yep, 
the uh i think i could get a lot more torque out of this truck if i started doing my own shifting but you don't you s even shifting sequential which is buttons and stuff you don't get the same stuff out of the truck you might as well just drive not whoa watch it i've had some seriously bad encounters on this game and another left working our way through downtown flagstaff here is not the easiest thing in the world If I wasn't in downtown, I'd probably blow a couple stop signs, but you never know what's coming around these corners. Got a decent sized trailer on us, too. I will, uh, for like low deceleration on like highways and stuff, I'll use my trailer brakes or my Jake brake. I do prefer the trailer brake just because that's what. We use on our semi in real life. I'm not used to using a Jake brake. And uh, the Jake brake doesn't work well with the automatic transmission because the automatic transmission doesn't know you're Jake braking. So it is constantly downshifting while you're going. Whereas Jake brake, you'd want to stay in the same gear. I have force feedback running on the wheel too, so I am feeling everything. Probably going to get some vibrations in the webcam. That was a lag spike right there. Ooh. All right. I will be making changes here soon to get rid of the lag. Probably next video. What is going on? This is one thing with the realistic traffic mod. You never know what's happening. Take a look. Ah. It's just construction, it looks like. Is there a way around this? Construction is the most inconvenient thing in this game ever. I've had construction take me four hours out of my way. So, uh, yeah, that is a one-way ordeal. So our destination's right there. So we'd have to go all the way down here and then all the way back up. Or you could take 93 over. But I don't think we have a choice. I don't think this is opening up anytime soon. So I'm going to hop back on over here. And get cruising. Because I believe that's construction there. That ain't going to open anytime soon. Yeah. I don't know what that semi's doing there. It's causing problems I guess. Yeah I don't get near as much lag. Doing this recording. My CPU is only at 6%. So, oh, it's going to have me get on and turn around. Okay. That works, I guess. Hopefully I don't have to go too far down here. Getting on highways in this game is really stressful as well. It's a scary thing. Alright, I'm going to hold up and drop my frame rate back down on the recording. See if that helps. Okay, and we are back trucking. So, we'll see if that helps any. I uh, down the frame rate from 48 to 25. And close some stuff that was running in the background. So, see if that helps. Get the cruise control up and going. 
I'm going 65. What's going to stink is once we get into California, we're going to have to go 55. Jake break a little bit. Trailer break's just more responsive overall. You see the automatic transmission just takes its own sweet time downshifting. Because it's got to hit almost every single gear. Whereas if you're running an actual truck, you can just pop it in whatever gear you're closest to. Nobody coming, all right. Didn't take us too far out of our way. It is annoying, but you know, things happen. Mm. And my mirror up in the top right corner there, that'll be gone once I get head tracking and I can easily look over at that other mirror. Er, this is what I mean, getting on the highway is horrible. So I'm going to have to wait for this dude. That dude's going to wait, but he's going to be hesitant. It's weird because a guy will wait, and as soon as you start pulling out, he'll be like, oh, nope, never mind. I changed my mind. So we'll go ahead and get cruising again. This wheel is, I really like this wheel. It works really well. I use it in farm sim and ATS. The lag with the guardrail is not the most ideal. What the heck is going, oh, seriously? This construction is just haunting me. All I wanted to do was pass that truck. Can't keep. Mm, he's letting me on. All right, nice. At least drivers are somewhat courteous in this game. Ah, and just like real life. Holy smokes! Two lanes are closed. What? We gotta go out of our way again. Wow. This stinks. I don't even see anything down there. It must just be like. Something weird's going on. Um, is there a car in front of me? I can't even tell. Oh, yeah. Kind of intruding on that Jeep a little bit. Somebody's honking. That Jeep is a horrible driver. Let's see if anybody lets me through. Is Trekker going to be courteous? Nope. Thank you. Oh. Oh. What the heck? What the heck is that? I wasn't even hitting anything. Oh, I had a pylon under the truck. Where the heck did that come from? Oh my word. We've never had that happen before. I was trying to hit the horn button to thank the car, but ended up clipping a pylon. All right, let's see. I'm going to check and see how far that's taking. Oh, my word. We got to go back into downtown. But wait. We can't. That highway was closed. We're literally stuck in downtown Flagstaff. We cannot get out of this place. Um. <sighs> This isn't a good day for us. Let's see, is that open? Nope, see, the line of trucks is still there. So, yeah. We're going to end up going straight through there, I think, and end up getting over to 93. Come on.
I do not usually have this much trouble with construction. Usually it's like one spot, take your out of your way a little bit, not this bad. Another thing in this game is the light. See, the light signals are like really short, but you'll sit here at a red light for a good minute to two minutes. That's another thing that's just not right. There goes the train. What the heck? Did you just see that? That semi just got destroyed. Oh my word. That semi right there, that one with the white dump, I just saw it go flying out of the air in the corner of my eye. Oh, he's jackknifed. <laughs> Realistic traffic mod. Wow. We're just making a little U.E. around this block. Where did that truck come from? Jeez. I'm really not liking Flagstaff. They don't let you leave this place. Mm. Ain't nobody... Got a green light, but as soon as we get up there, it's going to be red. Oh, surprised me. This is a long trailer, though. Downtown Flagstaff is not made for a trailer like this. Right turn on red is a thing in this game. So. A lot of pedestrians, that's for sure. Mm. Alright, we want the inside lane now, because we're just going to go straight and take 93. There's no point in trying to get through that mess again. Watch, I'm not going to be able to get off and the construction's going to be gone. Nope, still there. A few more people have gotten away from it. Alright, come on. I'm not doing that either. There's construction there as well. Alright. After I get around this turn, I'll get back into the slow lane. But you get around the turn, there's another one. So if you can't tell by looking at my odometer, I've had this truck for a little while. I got almost 5,000 miles on it. She's been with me everywhere in my trucking career. 
We've hauled a lot of stuff. Whoop. Getting a little out of myself with the speed. This is a pretty windy road as well, so I don't want to roll the truck. It's happened. Trust me. I've also nailed a rock head on with this truck. About $9,000 worth of repairs later, she was back on the road. That was after the $2,000 fine for not passing the DOT inspection at the way station, though. I was going down two lane highway and combine was in the other lane or a harvester and a car darted out from behind it right when i was coming by it i swerved off the road and that's when i nailed the rock about 10 miles down the road there was a way station and i got pulled in for an inspection and let's just say i didn't pass that was not cool this is a nice road though Really nice road. <laughs> Getting into some more of a desert country out here. I don't know if it's just California or if, or out west, if they have like those really short ETSA ramps, but where I'm at, they give you quite a ways to get on the highway. I've burned almost a quarter of a tank of gas wasting time trying to get around construction. Oh shoot, I don't know if this is going to be on time, honestly. This will be my first late delivery yet. Uh. I've been on Route 66 with this truck as well. That was a memorable time. It's been to the Grand Canyon with me. It's been to Vegas. No, it hasn't. I don't think. It's been to LA. This truck has been more places in game than I have in real life. That's fine, though. Hmm. get to take a nice little two-lane highway all the way up there. Whoa! Holy crap. This game really tests you. Funny thing is, I don't have any problems. Well, I don't have a lot of problems with stuff in this game until I turn the camera on and the recording, and then I have nothing but issues. That's ridiculous. I'm thinking of buying a... Um, Freightliner Cascadia. I kind of like those trucks in real life. We drive a Sterling in real life, but it's kind of a Freightliner. It's what the Freightliner replaced. Actually, the Freightliner came in and Sterling was out selling Freightliner for a long time, and that's why they discontinued it because they wanted the Freightliner to take off. So. Um, got in the desert a little bit there at the trailer. I didn't really have any more turning room, though. Better get the lights on. Yeah, might as well pop the low beams. There we go. Gonna get a little bit of l evening trucking, I think. Ooh, that guy's flying. Mm 
155 is a nice speed to go on this road. Prescott National Forest. Also, don't expect too much of me when I uh, go to backing this up at the end because um, I only back up a 35, no, 37 foot trailer in real life. So I don't have a whole lot of practice with these big ones, except in game. So, and that hasn't been too good, too pretty, I should say. They get to where they need to be, just not the greatest. Mm, got a combine going down the road. I don't know where it was coming from. We haven't passed a single field. Or going to, I should say. I've hauled quite a few combines. We oh, we're getting back on the highway. Don't want to hit the pedal too hard coming down these on ramps because you never know if you're actually going to be able to get on or not. See, like that guy got hesitant. But you just get in front of him a little bit and he'll eventually let you in. Can't really stop on a dime with this thing, so you got to do what you got to do. And I think we're back on the highway that the drop's on, so we should be coming up to it pretty quickly. Had to go a ways out of our way, but that's all right. Got 75 mile an hour speed limits, but watch, it'll drop down pretty quick once we hit California. I think we're going to hit California. Hmm. No, the night trucking's not the greatest for content. It's not really easy to see a lot of stuff, but you don't have a lot of control over that. think uh, what I'm going to do is once I get a 
another garage opened up I'll get the Freightliner Cascadia for my employee but I want to drive it a little bit see how it handles because I didn't get to drive one at all they just came out not too long ago I'll drive a drive it for a little while let the um, employee take my W900 for a little bit and then we'll swap eventually because um, this doesn't have the stock motor in it anymore so this one's a lot better for the heavy transports when I got it, it came with like a 398 horsepower cat. wasn't the most um, accelerative truck in the world. I don't know if I ever, ever got up to highway speeds with a heavy load. Got brake lights, got brake lights. What's happening? What's happening? Probably letting somebody on the highway. Come on. Get a move on. Oh, what? Another thing that stinks in this game is if somebody rear ends you, you get fined for it. That's happened as well. Having to slam on the brakes, letting somebody on the highway. Yeah. Yeah, they need to fix the merging for the AI. The AI can do a whole lot better with that. Shouldn't be putts in 25 mile an hour on the expressway. There's a lot of really expensive cars out here, out west. Out in California, a lot of people drive those Mustangs. They got a lot of classic cars. All right, our drop's coming up here. A lot of stuff you don't want to hit with a semi and get charged for. I don't know if this road becomes Main Street or not. Yeah, see? Uh, Route 66 comes into Kingman. I've drove a little bit of it, not like a huge amount. They're coming out with states pretty quick, though. I'm, I'll be really excited once they come out with my home state. Which is Michigan. I'm really interested to see how many of the major cities in Michigan they put in. Um, see if they... I would just want to see how close they model the area I live. Because uh, you go a little north of us, there's a lot of rolling hills. You go a little south of us, there's... Not quite as many. There's like a strip that's rolling hills in our state, and then you go north and it's just flat plains, and you go south and it's just flat plains. It's really interesting. Alright, our drop is out of town. There is a Peterbilt 389 in this game, too. That's a nice truck. Going 75 in a big rig is probably not advised. I'm following the speed limit, though. Mm, trailer brake. 
Yeah, you see, I was able to just drop like 30 miles an hour with the trailer brake pretty quick. Partly because I don't want to rear end the Mustang. Oh, wait, I'm not going that direction. I'm going the other direction. Dang it. I didn't set up for the turn too well. Don't clip the guardrail, please. All right, we're good. That's good. Got a 15 mile an hour turn that will take it 20. You can always go about five mile an hour above the suggestions. All righty. We are about there. I don't know where this is going. I think it's just another construction place. The road ends right there is their driveway. So I wonder where that car went that was in front of us. Yeah, it's like another construction hub. So I always do the top one because it's not too bad. You can usually get them in pretty well. There's no trailers in the way here. So uh, I'll get it swung in here without clipping the curb. And then crank her around this way. And try and straighten her out. They make the sights so small. Like so small. But I think we'll be able to get her. Alright. It's really hard to judge distance with these mirrors as well. Yeah, see there, I went short, or I was short. Usually I'm long, so that's why I was trying to compensate. I like my day cabs too, because I can look out the back window. With a 37 foot trailer in real life, that is just perfect. Having a back window, you can see the back of the trailer almost all the time. Alright, so I had to do this with the last trailer I backed up. So we get in there and then straighten her out. over that way some more. Alright, we'll get her. We'll get her. Just got swingy like this. And we're in the spot. And we're in. I don't know why I shut off the truck. Whatever. Yeah, it was late. We got docked six thousand dollars for being late. Wow. Um, still paid for the fuel, I guess. Wasn't really worth my time after that, but. Mm. All right, guys. Well, that was a very stressful trucking situation there. I hope you guys enjoyed laughing at me the entire time. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.